Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use XML bitmaps to create tiled bitmap drawables. We have a project that is called tiled bitmaps, and I'm going to show you an image that we have inside the drawable-hdpa folder. It's the fluidly.png. I'm going to open this image. And this is the image we, we are going to use. You can see this image is uh, designed in such a way that it can be tiled horizontally and vertically to create a pattern. If you are coming from a web background, you could have used images uh, such as this, which when tiled horizontally and vertically will create a background image that fits the entire screen. So that's what we are going to do. And let me go and close this. Let's go back to layout and we have main.xml. This is our layout, open it. And let's go to the graphical layout. Here you can see that uh, in the outline we have something called as the relative layout. A relative layout is a container uh, that allows you to place other views inside it. We have been dragging a lot of uh, views inside this layout previously. We never uh, thought about the relative layout, but there are other layouts such as a linear layout, table layout, and a frame layout which allow you to place components inside them and the layout determines how component is placed inside it. In case of relative layout, you position components relative to one another. Generally, the top level layout takes up the entire screen. So in this case, the relative layout is occupying the entire screen. If we set a background to this relative layout, it will be placed behind all the views. So we're going to set up a background for this relative layout. Let's go to the background property and let, let me click on the ellipsis button and under drawables we have the fluid delay. I'm going to click on OK and now you can see that the fluid delay image is placed as a background and it does not look so good. You can see that the image has been stretched and the aspect ratio is uh, typically messed up and this is not what we are looking for. Uh, we need to tile this image so that it looks even more elegant. I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to use an XML bitmap for that. Let's go to the resource folder and I'm going to create a new folder called as a drawable. Right click, go to new folder. We're going to name this drawable. You're not using any suffixes here. That is because an XML bitmap points to the actual bitmap and it allows you to specify properties such as dither and uh, tiling. Therefore, uh, we don't need a qualifier here. We are just going to place an XML inside. Click on finish. So we have our drawable folder here. Now we are going to create a new XML bitmap resource. Uh, right click, go to new and select Android XML file. You get a new Android XML dialog. And resource type is drawable. Project is the project we are working on. And we are going to name this file as tiled Fluidly, and let me select bitmap as the root element. Click on finish. We have our tiled tiled fluidly .xml. We're going to create a tiled bitmap using this XML resource. Let's close this, and there is a property called a source which allows you to specify the bitmap we are going to use which is drawable slash flowdily. Let me save this and there is another property called as tile mode which we are going to make as repeat. Save this. Let's go back to main.xml and again we are going to choose the new xml bitmap instead of the actual bitmap. You can find the fly tiled flowdily here. Click on OK and here it is. Save this. So you can see that the image is actually tiled now. It retains its aspect ratio and the same image is placed horizontally and vertically to one another which actually creates a sort of pattern. If you want to see this on the emulator, let's go ahead and run this program. Go to click on tile bitmaps and click on run.
And here it is, the emulator just started up. Let's unlock the screen. Ah, here it is. So you can see the beautiful tiled background. Now that's about it. And uh, this is how you create a tiled uh, bitmap image in Android. Thanks for watching.